You ask her your questions and she replies. Her answers are lame, but at least she tries. Colleen's Corner. Hi, welcome to Colleen's Corner, where every Tuesday I answer your questions. All right, so let's see how I can help you today. Charles Grant said, juggle? I'm not sure if you're asking me how to juggle or if you're just confused about juggling, but I'll try to juggle for you. What can I juggle? I don't have balls to juggle, so I'm just gonna juggle candles and a snow globe. Okay, too terrified. I'm very talented. Haley Bennett 01 said, do you love changing Tatum? I don't know because I've never changed a Tatum. So I'm not gonna say that I love or hate it because I've never done it. Don't discriminate. E. Hagen322 said, how do you kiss your friend Tat's girl without her KOing you kissed her? I'm gonna try to decode this. How do you kiss your friend Tat's girl? The, your friend Tat's girl, that's girl? Is that a tattoo? Do you wanna kiss her tattoo? How do you kiss your friend that's girl? Your friend's girl without her knowing you kiss? I'm so confused. I'm not sure what you're asking, but if you wanna kiss a girl and not have her know that you kissed her, don't do that. At April PTX said, Colleen, when boys flirt with you and then say that you're as just a friend, what do you do? Hashtag mad. Hashtag help me, Colleen. <coughs> oh, that felt really good. Enjoy it. Because some people didn't get that experience growing up and now they are socially awkward and don't know how to flirt. My poor boyfriend has to deal with my flirting skills. You're really cute. <laughs> At tbuck232 said, give your best dancing advice. Obviously, because you're the best dancer ever. I am a phenomenal dancer. I have been dancing since I was a young little tot. And now I get to dance as Miranda professionally. And my advice would be, jiggle your body around. Melanie Catherine Newhouse said, how do you deal with someone who thinks they're always right? I'm always right? How people deal with me is they tell me I'm wrong and then I say, no, I'm right. And then that's kind of it. Maybe you should just drop it. Amelia Hunter said, when you go to a public toilet, how do you make your pee or poo quiet so it doesn't make a big splash and gross out the other people in the cubicles? First of all, I've never heard it called cubicles. I thought they were just stalls. Peeing, I don't care about. I will pee and let everyone hear it. Clearly, I've done it on the internet before. Pooping, however, I always wait until everyone leaves the bathroom, which is why it drives me crazy when I'm sitting in a stall and I hear someone get out of the stall next to me and then they go and they wash their hands and then they're like doing their makeup, changing their outfit, reapplying fake eyelashes. You know there is someone else in here and you know that I don't want you to hear me poop and you don't want to hear it or smell it, so just leave. It drives me crazy. I just had a vision said, how do I take hot selfies? This is so easy, guys. Selfies are probably my favorite thing in the world. Selfies are always attractive, never conceited. You always look like you're having a great time. Here are some examples of really good selfies. You just need to find the good angles of your face. There you go, I hope I gave you some good advice today. Make sure you subscribe. I post videos every single Tuesday and Friday on this channel. Check out the information below if you wanna follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. And my PO Box information is down there in case you wanna send me a little present. Don't send me poop. Leave a comment below asking me a question for next week. Also like and favorite this video and post it on your Twitter or your Facebook or something. Cause then more people watch it and then I get happier. And then it's like...